everybody, welcome to a 20-somethings kitchen. Today, we are going to be making the second of our salad video series, and this is actually completely opposite of what you might think a salad is. So it's a snicker salad. Could be a salad, it could be a dessert. So what's it consist of? We have no arugula, the only green thing is the Granny Smith apples, no croutons, no dressing. It's literally Cool Whip, vanilla pudding, Snickers, and like I said, the Granny Smith apples. And this is a potluck staple. You can find it at your grandma's house. You can find it at my house. They have it at church picnics. It is an Iowa staple. And it actually, for those of you who didn't know this, it originates from the state of Iowa. So, always repping home. So anytime there is a potluck, I do make this salad for people to enjoy and I get to introduce it to them. So we'll go ahead and get started here. We're going to make up the vanilla pudding. So what I have here is just a regular box of vanilla pudding. I'm going to be adding one cup of half and half to that. As if this dish wasn't decadent enough, I go ahead and put the half and half instead of milk. So you can use either one. You could use almond milk too if you wanted, but I prefer the half and half. So one cup of that, just add it to the pudding. Those are all mixed together, so I'm just going to set it in the fridge for about three to five minutes here, and then we will add the rest of our ingredients to it. The next thing we'll do is chop up our Snickers. So for the one I make, I use about three to four Snickers. I had four to begin with, but... You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Snip it. And just give those a rough chop. The Snickers are all chopped up, and the next thing that we get to cutting are the green apples. So what I'm going to do is just use an apple cutter and then slice those into about the same size as the Snickers here. All right, so I cut up just two of the apples here. If I need the third one, I'll go ahead and have it. But for my Snickers salad, I like it a little creamier. I know other people make it with a ton of apples and a ton of Snickers and it's more like a chunky salad where mine is kind of a mix of custard, pudding, and then you also have these little bits of flavor in there with the apple and the Snickers. So we have them here. And I'll go ahead and grab my bowl of pudding. And the reason I did it in the bigger bowl is that that's the bowl that everything is going to go into. And then when I serve it, they're gonna be served in fun little ramekins. I'm also going to reserve some of the apples and Snickers so we can top it off to kind of make it look pretty and so that people know what's in the dish. So the pudding is set. I'm just gonna go ahead, give it a little spin here. So the pudding's ready. Just scoop it off my fork here. And then we'll be folding in the Cool Whip. So this is a one liter of Cool Whip. It was previously frozen and for this dish you need to make sure that it thaws out but you don't want it to be runny. So we'll go ahead, put that in our bowl. And then just fold the ingredients into each other. See here, it's really light and fluffy. And it's great because you have the vanilla pudding, which is good on its own. Then you have the Cool Whip, which is good on its own. So bringing them together, kind of a no-brainer. And next, we'll just start adding the apples and Snickers. Just go ahead and start with a handful of apples. Maybe two handfuls of apples. And give those a toss. And leaving the skin on the apples just makes the dish prettier. You have that green in there, little pop of color. People will feel somewhat healthy. Another handful. And then we'll do a handful of Snickers as well. Awesome. So all the ingredients are mixed in there. And as you can see, I did save a cup of the apples and a couple pieces of Snickers. Another option for this too, if you want to make it really pretty, is that you can use a truffle dish. And you can just start by layering the apples, put the cream mixture on and top it with Snickers and just keep piling all the way up. And you can top it with the Snickers, apples, and then caramel as well. We are good to go now. Just gotta top it off and put it in the fridge and take it to tomorrow's potluck. 
like I said, it's always an interesting dish to bring because no one's ever heard of it before. This and walking tacos. Anytime I talk about walking tacos, people are like flabbergasted by the idea that you would put taco meat, lettuce, salsa, and a bag of Doritos, small bag of Doritos for some of us. So, so that is our Snickers salad, dessert or side dish, whatever you want it to be. No one will leave the table unhappy with this.